would say we don't need any primer this morning. I think it's pretty warm. Trim, we're on both. Carb heat's in. Mixture. Rich. Full rich. Clear the area. Clay prop. Bricks. Bricks. Let her rip. Let her rip. opportunity to do this, you know? I, how many people have never even been off the ground, let alone actually like learn how to fly? In a vintage Piper tail yeah. airplane. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna remember to pull the, the correct, there you go. Yep. Full idle check. Good, good. We, we, we run the engines down to like 600 RPMs uh, on purpose when we rig the throttles because when we're at final, we don't want any pull. Yeah. But we should idle the airplane at around 800 RPMs. Okay. Okay. And clear your, clear your uh, controls with uh, forward, left, back, right, forward. Controls are free and clear. Fuel is both run. Thanks on both. Area is clear. We're going to take off straight ahead, climb to 2,000 feet, then enter the crosswind downwind base to a normal landing okay. at the cone. At the cone. All right, I'm ready when you're ready. All right, let's do this. Area is clear on the final. My seatbelts are on, yours are on. Yeah, We're good nice to go. And secure. No brakes. That 
is just crazy. We're huh? really floating. We're picking up that speed. What the heck? It's like we got a tailwind. We may have it. Doesn't seem so we ought to have. This is actually a pretty good approach. Hold it right in there. Wow. Just hold it till you get right off the deck. There, right there at the treetops. Hold it and hold the slip in.
Yeah, sorry. Get aggressive with it. There you go. There. That'll bleed it off. Keep it in there. Oh. Okay, now straighten it out, level it out. That's how you do that. Man. Wow. You oh. are impressive, young man. There are too many guys that can handle that much change on the last few seconds and then turn it into a landing like that. Okay, so another tendency I see, yeah. so I get the tail the, the tail up, and then like when I go to take off, do I just need to just, I don't want to say pull more aggressively, but it, no. feels, it sounds like, I, it feels like a bounce. Yeah, and a lot of that's because of the heat, but uh, as you come back and you can, like, if you pull back on the stick right now, I'm yeah. going to put some pressure on it. All you want to do is keep the equal pressure equal pressure until it comes off. It'll tell you when it's ready. Once the tail's off and you're ready to fly, yeah. the tail will not return to the ground. I mean, you could force it to the ground, but it just, yeah. if, if you equal pressure back, the okay. airplane's just gonna keep going back, and you'll feel it, like, oh, it's not ready to fly. Then it's just gonna mush. Then you go back forward again to get a little more speed, yeah. and a little back pressure. And when it's time, it'll just lift away. Okay, okay. All right, done all my checks, trimmed fuel, yeah. everything's in and off or on. Let's try in and off or on. Like in and off or on. <laughs> in and off or on. Something's going to happen. It's not quite ready. It's not quite ready. It's not quite ready. And now it's about ready. Just back pressure, back pressure, back pressure. And you can feel it kind of hop out of yeah. ground effect and sink. And that's because you're operating on grass. You know, you got a little bump there and yeah. stuff. If you were on pavement, that would have been smooth as silk. Well, on the, on the grass, it just bounces a little. Yeah. And well, I know when you were saying start doing the at, or back pressure, you know, that's when it seemed like up until that, I was keeping it forward. And then, maybe a little too long. Say what? And then coming right straight back. Yeah. Yeah, then, you know, I was starting to, I guess, ease off, and then, so that's yeah. when I started bouncing a little bit. Now, that particular takeoff on asphalt, like I said, would have been just as smooth as silk. Yeah. But we got some bumps to deal with. I'm very curious to see um, the difference between this and the just aircraft. Uh, just aircraft, I think you're going to find an incredibly remarkable airplane. Um, you're going to have flap, and you're going to have that super suspension, and I just... This is older, that new technology, uh, from what I've read about them, and I've got a friend that's all hot to try to build one. Yeah. Um, that's a fine, fine airplane. I'm really glad it worked out this way for you because I was a little bit worried. Like, about what? You know, going down to the Philippines and flying a tailwheel airplane and you don't have much time yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Well, after we've had our, our uh, a little bit of what we're doing here, I've got all the confidence. I'm your back. I'd let you take my wife in the airplane. Well, I don't You know what I mean? Be... I'm Thank that you, confident. Did I tell you I don't like her? <laughs> no, that's not true at all. <laughs> oh, would have for a funny. And over the trees is where I get that final boost. Forward. A little bit of power. That's good on the power. Put that, that nose down a little. A little bit down. Power off. We got this. I don't think so. Come on. Well, I guess we could. All right, you win. <laughs> just a little, just a little push. There, see, right there. Hell. Oh. Got pretty close to that one. <laughs> Now she's gonna float again. I think it's just swirling. Oh, 
You got it though, look at you. Great recovery. Oh, wow. I hope I don't have to live up to this standard. Okay, so I have a question. What? You've got, uh, granted we we're in a, uh, a heavy airplane on a hot day. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've, uh, it's been a while, but I remember seeing, uh, the uh, techniques for short field landings and how, uh, <laughs> yeah, going off of more the angle of incidence. You no, know, the, uh, the your your glide slope should be higher and you should be slower. Yeah, and you're gonna thump it on the ground. Just boom. Yeah, we're not gonna do that because no. we're, we have to if if. Uh, if the bottom drops out on us and we're right at stall and we're going to thump it on the ground, yeah, we're really going to thump it hard. Yeah. And you I can play like that in the just, well, in the just aircraft. And you've already, when the wind was right, you've already stopped the airplane before the intersection. Yeah. You've already stopped the airplane at about 800 feet. I mean, we're, we're already coming down. I mean, other than having a steeper approach, we can't get closer to the trees. Right. Um, so we'll come in just to the left of those pine uh -huh. trees and get right on the deck out here and then fly across this oak field. And then we're gonna have to make a 20 degree turn right over the numbers to line it up and land. Okay. Soon, Tom. 
Bits of bouncing there. Shall we end on that note? Yep. Okay. <laughs> What do you do in that instance? You start bouncing and you just, I mean, you don't have the power to pull out of it. Well, you, if you tap the power, it'll flatten it back out again. Okay. And then you can go back to stay flat and land or just power and go around. All right. But if you can't go around, that's not an option. Just add a 200 RPMs and it'll pull the airplane and it'll stop its descent okay. on the bounce. And then you